What's up, lovers and homies? Welcome back to another trailer reaction from DC Fandom. Probably the coolest event that's happened all summer. Thank God it happened. Give me something to do on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. We're doing a trailer reaction for the very first official full trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League coming to HBO Max sometime next year. Mm -hmm. He did reveal during the panel that it will be a four-part limited series. They're going to be hour-long chunks. And he also did mention that it will have some sort of international distribution so people or fans from across the all over the world will be able to watch the movie. As, Is HBO Max uh, not international at this point? I think they're like, I don't think it's fully rolled out all like worldwide yet. It's got it. Mm. Right now, I think it's only US and maybe select territories in Europe. Uh, okay. So it's still very limited. So they're going to find a way to be able to get it out to everybody. Okay. Um, um, I, I'm, I'm excited to, we've had like little snippets of the movie release and a lot of people yeah. have been asking me and messaging me. Why aren't you reacting to it? Why aren't you reacting? I'm like, it's a 30-second clip. I would rather wait for a full two-minute trailer or however mm -hmm. long to then like watch the whole thing with the, with the sound, the music, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And it looks like this is what this is. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited to see you know what new stuff we get to see. And a lot of people are also commenting on the aspect ratio, which I'll talk about a little bit later of like, why is it square versus widescreen? But okay. I say we just get into the trailer, watch it, and then we can talk about it a little bit. Interesting. Sounds All right, let's watch it. Good. On We're go. going on go, right? Going on, on go. go. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Nice. Now I've heard there was a secret chord that Oops. David played. Yeah, and dark side. Please the Lord, but you don't really care for music. That's the sleep. Warner Max. Warner what Max. is that? I don't know. It goes like this. The fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffled king composing hallelujah. <laughs> Aquaman. Yeah. Of course. Take that shirt off, baby. There it is. The black suit. Oh, very nice. Iris. Yo. Cool. I did my best. I hope she comes back for the Flash movie. I couldn't feel I think she is. Okay. So I tried to Good. touch. I've told the truth. I didn't come to fool you. I'm out. Oh, is that Desaad? I think it was. No idea. Yeah, that looked like it. Oh no, Silas Stone. Oh, I guess he dies. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the old original design. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh. Well, what was happening? Was Batman taking shots from a parademon? It looked like Neat. he was blocking them, yeah. I'm just going to be glad to not get a weird face Superman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hmm. There it is. So he shows back up in the black. Oh, the ship survives. <laughs> what ship was that? Was that Batman ship? Yeah, it was the ship that remember it. He probably fought hundreds of thousands of other super beings on the other planets. He's destroyed, right? And we have to assume he's won. I don't care how many demons he's fought and how many hells. He's never fought us. Not us united. It's a good, good line. Okay. Excellent line. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What, was I, what was I just talking about? I see. You, okay. You said Adam. Ship. You're you're excited about the ship, and I was like, what was that like the Justice League ship? And you're like, yeah. You remember? I don't. I think I've seen the theatrical <laughs> Justice League maybe once. I watched uh, it and didn't have a great time, and liked moments in it, but didn't have an overall great time. I don't yeah. remember. So that's the other thing is again, I'm like, I want to refresh, and I'll watch that next year before. Yeah. This thing comes out and i don't know if yeah. i want to do it week to week or do like a like wait for the four episodes to come out and do like a four hour mm -hmm. i don't know i feel like i'd rather do the four hour you know if it's going to yeah. be this big yeah. bombastic thing then let's do it you know what i mean like yeah then, yeah, yeah. Give me everything you got i think it was i think it's an interesting choice to use leonard cohen's hallelujah i actually yeah. kind of hoped that he would go back to using come together again 
Because that I was loved, a good choice. I loved that rendition in the or, very, I'll tell you what, very, very first trailer. I'm reading right now a bunch of uh, DC stuff because Keller and I are going through Batman the Animated Series. Mm. And, as we're, and for the first time, we're, as we're watching it, Keller hasn't seen it. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen every episode, but we're watching it. And whenever we get to a character that's like, okay, here's the first Poison Ivy episode. Uh, then, uh, then we're reading, I'm reading this book. Keller and I are doing like comic book class. And this oh, cool. is Batman Arkham Poison Ivy. So it's all like the, mm-hmm. it's all the Poison Ivy stories over the years, or at least all like the, the best of. Anyway, mm-hmm. I was listening to the score from Batman and Robin, the Elliot Goldenthal score, while reading this to get me into a to the Poison Ivy mood. <laughs> mm-hmm. And and I forgot that that movie ha- or that movie has the pumpkins, the Smashing Pumpkins song. The beginning is the end is the beginning or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it has and then sl- both versions, yeah. That was remixed uh, for, or with a remix was used for Watchmen yep. for a trailer, and it was like such a good trailer. Mm-hmm. And so I remember I, I'm hearing this, and Hallelujah, it, um, I didn't like that choice. It was an odd choice. I feel like it was a little bit like, hey, this is full on Zack Snyder, and mm-hmm. this is what you know, this is what Zack Snyder's. <laughs> known for as though it would be like, like hallelujah this movie if, finally came out if steven spielberg were directing the next indiana jones if like he the whole trailer was like he's getting back into a fridge and he's getting nuked again like it's this thing of like <laughs> that's the thing that people were you know criticizing and so he went into yeah. it i would like to have seen this trailer with the end is the beginning is the end i would have been dope too man because mm-hmm. that vibe feels a little bit more mm-hmm. that was just odd the leonard cohen song to have it yeah. yeah honestly well, also because, uh, Junkie XL has been he like he's gone back and he's redone the score and he's completed the score. Yeah. So like I think this would have been a, such an awesome opportunity to like use that music too. Mm-hmm. I'm what sure did, what did he do? Let's, let's show him off. Yeah, exactly. Because I mean, I right. think Junkie XL's music for BBS and for Mad Max has been awesome. Mm-hmm. So I, I I thought we were gonna get that. Granted, it's the it, first trailer. We're gonna get. I more. know, and yeah. it did feel a little bit like it's a. Uh, it, because of the song choice, it felt like it was a fun sort of tongue in cheek, like, hey, we're finishing up. Look at all the different shots. Look at right. all the different, you know, it, yeah. more so like, hey, here is a trailer that's giving us like the story or mm-hmm. a character moment or whatever. Mm-hmm. Because at the right. end, when, when Ben Affleck was talking and that music got a little bit more serious, I was like, this is dope. What? Mm-hmm. Give me more of that. You know, I would have mm-hmm. looked for the whole thing to uh, to feel that way. But it's coming out, <laughs> and then the this world mythic unicorn will change. I thought uh, I thought it was really <laughs> interesting. It wasn't at this panel; it was at a different panel that I watched. He talked about Superman's suit, and the studio wasn't keen on him using the black and the like black and silver, black, black and gray suit. suit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so they actually built the the traditional Superman suit in a way that, if let's say in post production, they the studio allowed them he would be able to change it to black and white. Really? So yeah. it wasn't an on-set black suit? It was something else that could yeah. be both so black they or did, red they and blue? Did, yeah, they did trick. Weird. They did like uh, post-production tricks in Photoshop mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. whatever other... I, they could have done After Effects. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but they were able to find a way to sort of isolate the colors of the suit very specifically mm-hmm. where wow. they could change it from like, you know, colored to black and white, basically. Yeah, you um, can chroma key the suit and then you can change the colors. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. They obviously updated the design of Steppenwolf. It's it's uh, a little bit more. It's well very reminiscent of what we saw in Batman versus Superman. And there's also a lot of shots. Not, there's a handful of shots in here that are in the original first trailer mm-hmm. that were kind of like put back in, and they've been updated a little bit. And then I know that there was like deleted scenes that were released. I think like six months later that were done by mm-hmm. a visual effects company, and it was like. Not 100% complete. It was very rough, like animatics mm-hmm. work that we now see in more completed fashion here. Um, a lot of and and a lot of stuff is going to be, I think, revolved around Victor Stone, who mm-hmm. Snyder has said that like he's kind of the he's kind of like the um, the linchpin of the movie. He's a like, part of right. the movie. He's kind of right. like the movie revol- resol- revolves around him. Okay, which we definitely don't get in Justice League the theatrical. Mm-hmm. Movie. I don't remember. I don't yeah. remember. So I'm, yeah. I just, I, yeah, yeah, I don't really remember either. I just yeah. remember that that Cyborg certainly did not have an uh, uh, that impact when I watched the theatrical Justice League. Right. I didn't walk right. away right. being like, "Awesome, let's mm-hmm. get his, mm-hmm. let's get his movie going." I remember just walking yeah. away, just being like, "Man, what a bummer that that's the first Justice League movie." Yeah, <laughs> I know. I, agree. I know. Um, a lot of people were making comments about, or not a lot, but there have been a handful of people who are like, "Wait, why did they present this trailer square?" And sure. not in widescreen. I'm confused. Mm-hmm. Sure. The movie was shot on film mostly. 
And instead of cropping it like they would for the theater, they're actually mm-hmm. like using the whole frame. Full frame. So, okay. Mm. So that's why you have the bars on the sides. It's because they're using the entire film frame, which the yeah. entire film frame is the same size of like our old CRT TVs. It's four yeah. by three. Okay. Um, so yeah, he made the he made the choice that he wanted to utilize the full frame, which like if that's what you want to do, I, I, it makes no difference to me. You know, it'll obviously feel a little bit like smaller on a rectangular screen, mm-hmm. right? Which is, I guess, like the only downside. But yeah. I, 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 I kind of get excited when it's like, oh, we're going to use the full frame of everything that we captured, mm-hmm. which means it must have cost a lot of money to actually like do the visual effects for all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. The that's... movie, the theatrical run, they just cropped it out. Yeah. So who knows? There were probably was stuff that they never finished. That's, that now they're going back and you know completing. That's the thing that I'm impressed with with this trailer is the fact that the shots look exactly how I remember. So mm-hmm. they must have spent a lot of money on the VFX for this, and they're probably still in were in works. For sure. But, yeah. I mean, we all know how difficult it is to get shots, even on the same movie, looking all the same. Yeah. Yeah. This is months and months apart from it. So to mm-hmm. have it look like it's seamless, mm-hmm. it's actually a pretty incredible feat. Um, if yeah. It's done, yeah. If it's done right. It, it, yeah. Yeah. If there were if there was like visual effects work that was cut from the movie that was further for like far along or finished or whatever i hope that some of that stuff can be used for this i hope that mm-hmm. i just think it's cool like obviously like you're saying like visual effects work is going to be on full display in this movie yeah you know and a lot of artists work is going to be on display and whether they're finishing that work or that was something that they did finish a shot but then it was cut mm-hmm. from the theatrical movie mm-hmm. um it's gonna be cool to see yeah yeah, yeah. the sod Dark side, kind of. I mean, it's Uxas, Uxas. Yeah. How do you pronounce Uxis. his name? Uxas, I think. Yeah, I think people have been saying Uxas or Uxas, and I'm like, yeah. Uxas, Uxas. You can do, you can pronounce it however Uxis. you want. It's U X A S. Thanos, Thanos, Thanos situation. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pretty much. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But yeah, you know, like, it. We've obviously we've gone in such a different trajectory with with this whole like universe, and you know, going yeah. forward, it's really going to be mostly on the shoulders of of the flash aquaman shazam and wonder woman Mm -hmm. but there is still is a part of me that like and we're gonna have ben affleck show up in the flash movie Mm -hmm. we don't know what's happening with superman um and you know i I, there was elements of the theatrical cut i did enjoy overall yeah it's 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 not a good movie especially after rewatching it i've Mm rewatched it i think twice since it's been out in theaters and most recently about a month and a half ago when i uh watched it in 4k Mm -hmm. yeah it's not good and you can Mm -hmm. definitely it's much easier now to see um, sort of the scenes of where like Joss starts and Zach or where Zach began and Joss kind of ended. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, There's obviously like very obvious things where that we saw theatrically that you're like, "Mm, this did not fit together very Mm -hmm. well at all. Mm -hmm, Uh, mm -hmm. I'm excited to see that consistency from start to finish. If anything, you know, Mm -hmm, like, and mm -hmm. I want to, I want to hear the music. I want to see these like, these character moments or these character arcs that never really got to have a moment. Mm -hmm. Um, Four hours is very long. I Mm -hmm. can't imagine how long the assembly cut of that movie must have been. Um, Probably it must have been at least five hours long. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if the studio was like, look, we don't really have a mandate for you. Or if they were like, look, let's do it a four part series and just break it up into hour long chunks. Mm -hmm. then I think like there is an opportunity to tell like really good moments in those four Right, right, right. One right. hour chunks. Right. Uh, Quentin Tarantino did it last year, I believe, for uh, The Hateful Eight. He took his mm-hmm. movie and he broke it up into these like five mini series, five mm-hmm. Netflix, episodes. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I like, I'm, I'm, I'm very interested to see how that works out for a movie of this scale. Mm-hmm. And this will probably be like the biggest thing for HBO Max next year. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. For sure. Yeah. 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 Unless, yeah. unless like one of their movies doesn't go to theatrical and they just go straight to Max. Yeah, right. so we'll see. Right. We'll see. Mm-hmm. But we'll have to let, uh, we'll have to know your guys' comments below about what you thought about this first look and Easter eggs we might have missed. Very yeah. sad to see Silas Stone dead. I love I love that actor Joe Morgan. Yeah, uh, it's gonna be very sad to see him go. But oh well. Uh, but let us know in the comments hey, below. Did he die in the theatrical version? No, I don't think so. Okay. I don't remember. There's I a lot of like, remember. there's there's a lot of unanswered threads. Again. It was uh-huh. three uh-huh. years ago. When did it come out? 2017. 2017 November. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. by the time this comes out, it'll be almost four years. So it'd be cool. it's not 25 years like Richard Donner waited to do Superman 2, but <laughs> you know, four years is four years. Yeah, uh, yeah. But guys, let us know what you thought about this. Let us know if there's any Easter eggs that we missed, and uh, we'll catch you in the next reaction. Bye. Bye.